When we think of Finland, we naturally think of design. We're here in a well-known contemporary design shop in Helsinki. On the counter is ceramic jewellery. The pieces are technologically innovative products that can be imbued with any perfume and hold the scent for several weeks. This is what makes the Kaipaus jewellery range different. Design is not a single design, it's not a solution, but we need a very interesting tapa tuoda se tähän materiaaliseen maailmaan ja nanofrago teknologia tietenkin avaa kokonaan uudenlaisen näkökulman korteollisuuteen ja ja tämän tyyppisiin tuotteisiin. This line of scented accessories was designed here in Espo in the Helsinki area. Tula Antola came up with the idea after returning from a business trip. At the airport, she bought this rabbit for her daughter. Kun mä annoin tämän pupun Hannalle, hän ilahtui, mutta oli erityisen onnellinen kun hän totesi että Äiti, toi on ihana, koska se tuoksuu sulta. Ja tämä yksinkertainen oivallus, jonka pieni kuusivuotias Hanna tyttö sanoi, muistutti mieleeni, että tuoksu on ihmisen muistijäljistä kaikkein voimallisin. Kaupaus uses nanotechnology to turn ceramics into scent dispensers. The turnover of this small company has doubled over the past two years. Partly because Tula has looked for new business abroad with the help of the Enterprise Europe Network. This business support network has been set up by the European Commission to give SMEs a helping hand in reaching new markets. PK-yrityksessä on usein ideoita enemmän kuin tekijöitä. Ja siinä on selkeä haaste, että osata valita ne ideat, jotka kaikkein nopeammin alkaisi tuottaa sitä hedelmäistä kassavirtaa. Ja mä uskon, että kaikkein olennaisinta on se, että sulla on se osaajien verkosto. Today, Tula is going to meet Mario Uotila. She's one of 3,000 network experts working to provide companies like Tula's with the support they need to grow their businesses. With some 600 local centers in 48 countries, the network is the perfect launching pad for small companies going places. Verkostolla on hyvin räätälöity toimintatapa. Eli tapaamme PK-yrityksen, keskustelemme heidän teknologiastaan, heidän strategiastaan kansainvälistymisen suhteen ja sen jälkeen katsomme, minkälaisia palveluita tämän verkoston kautta olisi olemassa juuri siihen heidän tarpeeseensa. After a successful partnership with a French online retailer found at a brokerage event organized by the Paris Chamber of Commerce, which is also part of the network, Tula is now in Venice with Mayo to meet other potential partners. Francesco Paretti Mario's counterpart in the Italian Enterprise Europe network has drawn up a program of visits to companies in the region. Noi come uffici dell'Enterprise Europe network, grazie alla conoscenza con le aziende locali diretta, possiamo suggerire eh, capire qual è l'interlocutore migliore da contattare e quindi dar vita a dei business matching che possono essere o, di, o puramente commerciali o tecnologici. But the network looked beyond the jewellery and fashion sectors, using an extensive database that lists more than 13,000 companies and technologies. Mario and Francesco broadened the list of possible business partners for Kaipaus. This afternoon, they're meeting Gino Seguso, a master glazier in a small family business that's toying with the idea of using Kaipaus's scent technology. Obviamente, che molte volte si parla e non, uh, non si conclude molto. Ma credo che in questo caso ci sia la buona volontà di entrambi di fare qualche cosa di fattivo, di valido. Master Glazier, luggage dealer, charity. Tula talks to a range of SMEs during her stay. With the help of the Enterprise Europe Network, a small Finnish firm combining design and nanotechnology will begin exporting to Italy and find new applications for its technology. And design lovers can rest assured that Europe's small businesses will keep on bursting with ideas.